we're nearly there. We nearly have Gear 5 Luffy. So this is a fan art, really well done, by Shy Rose. So full credit to this person. Landscape page, use a pencil eraser and hit pause if I go too fast, right? So, so I move the head over to the right, like so I'm on a landscape page. So the head isn't in the middle, we're gonna go over here. Okay, we're gonna start with this eyebrow over this side. So we've got this spiral eyebrow just here to start us off. And the other one on this side. Okay. And then his eyes are just kind of circular, really. They're just big, sort of circular eyes, right? So we've got like top of it here, top eyelid, like so. And the bottom eyelid will come around like that. We do the same thing on the other side. Top eyelid, like so. You could do a full circle if you wanted, but in the anime, they break it up. So there's iris, circle. Now in this fan art, the pupils, the irises are white, but I think officially they're gonna be red, aren't they? Iris and pupil there, and the same on this side. Iris. And pupil, like so. Then of course we got his scar, just under the eye. Nose, so just down one piece, they do these kind of curved lines at the bottom of the nose, kind of up the side as well. You have sort of some lines here, and maybe like some frown lines, like so. And then we got nostrils here and here, right? So you have options now, right? So we're going to draw the full face and then put the hand over the top, okay? So if you don't like drawing hands, you don't have to do the hand part if you want to just draw his body and put his shoulder coming down. But we'll draw the hand. We'll go with the face first. So the mouth comes across. We'll erase anything that we shouldn't see underneath. So most of this stuff will be like drawn over by the hand and we'll erase that. So the mouth comes down but it's easier to kind of just draw it all in first and then erase. We got teeth inside. Typical one piece and you could have like some lines just there. But if you want, you can actually do full lines because they do that in one piece, don't they? And like that. And then his chin is down here. And then this just curves around his face. Right, and then up the top here, we got his ears stick out. So. Like that. And then lines inside. Lots of different ways of doing these ear lines now. Kind of like a letter G in there that I always say it's easiest to start with. Right, so then you got sideburns sticking down here. Sideburns sticking down here. And then 
some hairline here, and then we got hair spikes. So these cloudy sort of <coughs> hair spikes here. Sticking off this way, like so. Right, and then we have some spiral hair stuff. And it's like his hair comes out from behind his head, so I can't really see it, but we guess. We'll go, yeah. So, and then we keep going around. That, and then cloudy up here. So we're adding sort of spirals every now and then. One here. Okay, we'll put another spiral in here. And another one in here. Okay, so what we can see of his neck, so we can see his neck on this side. Can't see it on this side, but we'll draw it in anyway. Because of the hand. And then his like clothing, his vest, sort of comes down here. And then comes down this way. It disappears. And it kind of disappears behind his waist belt here, right? So he's got like a waist thing. So, and then this is like fabric lines and stuff coming across. So then in here we have his anatomy, right? So we've got like up here, we've got like some neck muscles and then his collarbone for the top of his chest, you know, just here in the middle line for his chest to be here. And then his chest muscles coming across like so. Then we got abs. Like that. And then ab muscles inside here. Down to there. You can see the side of his body in there. And like a little bit in there. Right, and then the scar, obviously, is the big sort of X marks the spot scar. Might be some texture lines just on this. Like so. Okay, so we've got like a big leg that sticks up here. <clears throat> so we'll go just this way, right? And then we have that sort of cloudy sort of fluff that he has coming around the leg. And his arm comes across the top. But we'll just draw it. We'll draw it all in and erase after. The side of his leg there. Then we can see his knee in the middle, right? So we've got like his kneecap. Uh, there <coughs> and then the side of his leg coming down here okay just some like texture on this so 
he's got one arm coming across here and the other coming back this way. And then he's got those clouds that come around his arm and stuff, right? So, say like collar here. And then we're meeting like the end of his sleeve there. And then this sort of skirts across this. Goes down into his armpit down there. Okay, so the hand sticks out here, right? So it comes out. Down for his little finger. It's kind of real relaxed hand pose. Right, and then the next finger. There. Next one. that and the next one hands are tricky so hit pause when I move my hand and then this goes around just the side of his hand sort of here make some more knuckle lines and stuff his thumb in behind here. Something like his wrist then. It's going in that way. Right, so then the rest of his sort of jacket comes down here. And then we have buttons. Like so. And then his other hand. Right, so if you want, you could just do his shoulder sort of coming down and hide the hand if you don't like drawing the hand. You could just do his shoulder out and down, like his hand is hanging down here. But I'm going to copy the way the hand comes across his face, okay? So let's just go for it, right? So a moment of truth. So we got a line it comes across right underneath or beside his nose. So it'll go like right across his face here. Right? And then this comes down. Right, we got an elbow here. And then the other side. Comes up like that, right? So then we got knuckles that come down here. No easy way of doing this. You just got to go across the face, down, into here, to there. Next knuckle, across, down, to here, and around to there. Next one, across, down. This is his little finger. Around like so. Down to there, like so. So I know this is hard to see now, but I'll raise everything in under here. Palm of his hand just comes down. Like that, and his thumb sort of sticks out here. And there's one index finger that comes along there as well. So 
Maybe one for the shoulder in there. And then his index just comes across underneath his nose. Right out this way. Down to his tip of his finger. Around here. Down like that. Okay. So I'll just erase stuff inside here so you can see it a bit clearer. Right, so hopefully that's a little bit clearer for you now. And then the fingernail just here. And then there's a fingernail here as well. Okay, and then we'll just add the shoulder and sleeve and stuff on, on this. So this just comes around underneath the arm. Here, some lines just for the edge of the sleeve. And we got lots of this cloudy stuff. It comes up around his arm. <coughs> oh, I guess we'll just we'll add some lines like that. All right, so what we can see is now this sort of cloud power or whatever it is that comes around his shoulders, right? So <clears throat> we'll just add it here, right? And it's got it's kind of like the same of his hair as his hair. It's got all these spirals and stuff inside here. It comes across his shoulder there. It comes out from here. And it goes all the way around his head. So So that's the inside line, <clears throat> and then we'll do the outside line here. So this will go behind his hair spikes, like here. Okay, and then that comes out from behind his arm over here somewhere. <coughs> there. And then we can see like <coughs> handle of the chair that he's sitting on just here like side of his body there okay and this stuff then comes back around the other side of his head Go lower. This I think that's the throne. Or maybe let this be the clouds because he's sitting on a big throne as well. So there's like cloudy shapes for the throne behind his head too. Right, like that. And then the inside of this is like. Here. Here comes over his clothing here, goes down behind his leg, and then the inside will connect back up. Here. Then we need just like another line that comes down this way. 
Okay, and of course you'll erase anything underneath there. And then just at the back of his knee, we've got like a few clouds that just stick out here. And then the handle of the chair as well on this side goes out here. Okay, clouds, clouds, all the clouds done. Right, so then he's on this like golden throne and it's got cloud on it as well, right? And it goes just in behind these clouds. So clouds behind clouds. And this is kind of golden. And it goes just up off my page there. Come back down in there. So then this is like the inside. Right, and this is like purple sort of fabric, so it's got all these, you know, like curved lines on it. And then the outside of it here. So let's go to there. Okay, and then like erase any bits that you went over, you know, for the cloud or color over them. But that's it. That's how to draw Luffy on a throne. Hope it was helpful. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one. Bye.